Good evening. Um, I was told I was not to talk about problems this evening. I was told that the um, story of David and Goliath was one of optimism and that that was to be my topic. Um, the story of David and Goliath is not only the story for um, all children of the Abrahamic faiths. It's a story that everyone in the world knows. It's a story of how the all-powerful can be fought. It's a story of how the weak, perceived weak, can win. And so, as one example to me of David and Goliath that we can look to tonight as comparable, um, we have here tonight Shaka Amma. Shaka is one man who by his profound faith and stamina and determination that Goliath could not beat David is here tonight. And maybe, I don't know, there are some Algerian men and their families here tonight. If they're not, they should be. Who after 11 years of not being allowed to attend events and believing that they would be deported any day to a country that might torture them and are released from that and are free men and their families free too. Trying to deal with the present, one looks to the past, but we shouldn't live in the past. We should learn from the past. And so, for examples, perhaps most recently, the outcome of the Hillsborough inquest. Families who for 30 years had fought to establish the truth of what happened when so many were trampled to death, crushed to death, the breath forced out of them. Liverpool supporters at a football match in Yorkshire. And the lesson to be learned from Hillsborough is that the truth was not meant ever to come out immediately, immediately after those horrific deaths, needless deaths, cruel deaths. The police put out their version of events. These were drunken fans. And in doing that, they defamed the children, the men and women who died. They defamed their families. They defamed Liverpool Football Club and they defamed a whole city, Liverpool. The press colluded. The government rushed through a bill through Parliament, football supporters, which had been waiting, waiting in the wings to be brought in. And for the next 30 years, every institution of the state failed them. The coroner's court, the civil courts and the civil action, the ambit of inquiry was narrowed, was perverted, was distorted, there was fabrication, there was mendacity. But through solidarity and strength and collectivity and allies, they actually for two years in the inquest 
have brought the truth into the light and have been gloriously, gloriously exonerated. Every single verdict of the jury was that they were right. The police had lied. The state was wrong. The state had failed them. The state was Goliath. And the bereaved families were David. And perhaps next week there will be a decision that there's to be a new inquiry into all grief during the miners' strike when the police turned themselves into a militaristic force, clubbed down 95 miners, had cavalry ride into the clouds, police battened them down. It was war, and 95 prisoners of war were taken, but in a distortion of the justice program, deemed criminals and put on trial for riot, of course, was nonsense. It was fabricated. The trial came to a dramatic end. But that was a demonized community. That was a demonized community. Mrs. Thatcher called it the enemy within. They were meant to lose. They were David and the state was Goliath. Now, just for today, I've been given three minutes to say just for today, it seems to me that there is a worse Goliath, a more frightening Goliath, and that is a program nationwide that is requiring teachers, doctors, nursery school teachers, social workers to become informants on pain of penalty, criminal penalty, against our children. That is a step far further than has ever, ever been gone before in this country. The program is called PREVENT, but it is a program that is attempting to dictate the way our children, who should be bursting with creativity with rebellion, with discordant voices, with a disapproval of everything around them. That's what children are meant to be, free, free spirits, not to be reported on, not to be told that they show signs because they are rebellious or even interested in the world around them to say that they are in some way alien to our society. One minute, I'm finishing. Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, when told that he was un-American, said, that's not right. I am America. I am America. And you had better learn to like it you had better learn to get used to it. And so our children are Britain. Our children are Britain. And they should be left alone to become what they will. That's how the future should be. They are our Davids, but they should not be needing to fight a Goliath.